Hi everyone, my name is Matt and welcome to my channel. Warhammer the Old World is finally here, and if you have some older armies like I do, you might want to change out the bases. There are a few different ways to go about it, and they're all relatively simple. They just take a little time. Let's go over the tools I use. Needle nose pliers, an old wire cutter that you're not too worried about damaging, and one set of really good plastic cutters, and a hobby knife. The first step is to identify how the models are attached to the bases. Most likely you'll have something like this, a smooth flat base with the model glued on top. Or you might have a metal miniature glued into a slotted base. Use the old cutters to chop away the outer rim of the base. I prefer using old tools for this part, since bases usually have sand and all kinds of stuff that might damage them. You'll be left with a flat layer of plastic, and you can glue it right to a new base. Or if you want, you can run it over some sandpaper first to smooth out the underside. If you use this method, you won't have to touch up paint on the feet, but you'll be forced to match your old basing style. Matching the old base may prove to be difficult. The model is slightly elevated in the center, so you'll have to use putty or textured paint to blend out the edge of the old base. Then you'll have to match the existing texture, paint colors, and any static grass or flock. It's a little more work, but my favorite way is to take the model completely off the base and start from scratch. I like to make some cuts along the rim first, and then pry off one section of the base at a time. Work all the way around until the base is mostly removed. If the model pops off the base easily, it probably means it was originally attached with super glue. That glue will need to be scraped off if you plan on using plastic cement with the new base. Otherwise, don't worry about it and just use super glue. If the model won't come off easily, it means it was originally attached with plastic glue and will require a little more work. Here's a model where I used plastic glue. Notice how there are small bits of the base that won't come off. This is where the good set of plastic cutters comes in handy. I'll cut away as close as I can to the bottom of the feet, and then finish cleaning up with a hobby knife. There will probably be some sand and basing material stuck to the feet, so use a hobby knife to scrape that away. All that's left to do is glue the models to new bases, and after the glue dries, touch up any areas of the feet where the paint chipped. And finally we have a metal miniature in a slotted base. This one's pretty easy. Make two small cuts on either side of the slot first. Then hold one side of the base with pliers and bend the other side with clippers until it snaps. Then gently hold on to the model itself and cut off the other side of the base. Depending on how much glue was originally used, the plastic might not come off very easily. Use the old clippers and a knife to remove as much of the plastic as possible.
Use the hobby knife to scrape away any sand or basing material stuck to the feet. Then test to see if the model fits on the new base. Sometimes glue can build up around the tab, and you may need to carve away some of it. Quite often you will have gaps on the slotted bases. My favorite way to cover the gaps is with pieces of note card or heavy paper. Cut some small pieces in a variety of sizes. Dip an old brush into wood glue or PVA glue and apply some around the gap. Find a piece of card that's close to the right size, pick it up using the sticky brush, and then slide it into place. Give it a few minutes to dry and then you can base the model however you like. Here are the models I rebased, and only a few hundred more to go. Rebasing can take a long time, so I'd recommend setting an easy pace and only working on a few at a time to avoid feeling overwhelmed. Have you rebased models before? And if so, what method did you use? Did you use a method that's not covered here? Do you think rebasing is just a waste of time? Comment down below and share your thoughts. Well that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy painting!